What's going on guys? I am back with another public rec review. So far I have reviewed their all day everyday joggers as well as their workday pants slims. Both are awesome but I noticed that they came out with a couple new products. So today we'll be looking at the better than down bomber jacket and the stretch thermal button down. So Public Rec did send me these for free in exchange for an honest review, but I just want to let you guys know that I always keep it real, so although they did send me these for free, that will not change my opinion or I'm not going to overhype anything, always going to keep it honest. Also want to say that I will try on both of these items and as always give them a score out of 10 based on my three criteria that I will put in the description below, so stay tuned for the score, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so first we'll start with the Better Than Down Bomber Jacket. Alright, so I'll start with the tag. I got a size medium. I am 165 pounds, 6 feet tall. The inside is like this really, really, really soft, like micro suede feeling material. And it is extremely comfortable, like by far the most comfortable bomber jacket I've ever put on. I tried built bomber jacket. I did a review for that. I actually did a giveaway for it and that was really really nice but I mean this thing blows it out of the water. The quality on it is really really amazing honestly. I'm not just saying that. It really is nice. Do you know how in some bomber jackets a lot of them actually like it's really nice on like the the torso part but then the sleeves have like that really sleek shiny material. This one doesn't have that. It has this really really soft material all the way throughout so when I'm wearing like a t-shirt like this and I put it on it's just like so crazy comfortable on your skin and I love that okay so moving on I just want to show you a couple details right here you have a hidden pocket on the inside a zipper so they partnered up with 3M to make the insulation for this jacket and it's called Thinsulate and it's the featherless kind. It's super light. It is extremely warm. I live in North Carolina and it doesn't get like super duper cold. I used to live in New Jersey and it got like really, really cold. Here it gets to like 30, a lot of times just 40. And this is by far all I need. Sometimes I'm like too hot in this thing. I've been wearing it for like, I would say probably like a month. And it's really the only jacket I've been wearing because I like it that much. Okay, it is 90.5% polyester and then 9.5% spandex. Okay, so I'll go ahead and try it on. Oh, it's so comfortable. Okay, on the outside here we have two pockets. They are both zipper. So this is kind of like a puff down material but it's not super bulky or anything which I love because I don't like jackets that are really bulky I like them you know kind of tight to my body I think the length is like perfect a lot of times bomber jackets can be a little bit short in my opinion and I think they nailed the length so since bomber jackets don't have a hood obviously what I like to do is either wear like a hoodie underneath or sometimes I'll put a beanie on just to like balance it out a little bit. But you can rock it like this with a nice white tee. Alright guys, so here it is with the hoodie underneath. This is what I was talking about. Like this right here is warm. Like I could stand outside in really cold weather with this because I'm literally starting to sweat already. And I've only had it on for like a minute. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next and final product. This is the Stretch Thermal Button Down. Okay, I just want to show you the material up close. So this is like, kind of like a flannel, but it feels a lot more dense and more durable. And it has a lot of stretch to it, obviously. You know, it's in the name, so it does stretch a lot. And it just feels really, really high quality. So we'll go ahead and try this one on. Okay, so here it is. First I'll show you what it looks like, not buttoned. The white tee underneath. Okay, here it is buttoned pretty much to the top. 
I can do one more just in case. And you can also wear this kind of like a shirt jacket. So I'm going to put a hoodie underneath and show you what that looks like. All right, so here is the hoodie underneath. And I really like this look. Do you want to show you how stretchy this flannel is? Just like you really notice it when you can move your arms like that without any restrictions. Feels really high quality, like I said. You've got the two pockets right here in the front. And one last detail is that they have the split hem on the side right here. Alright guys, so let's move on to the scores. So first up we have the Better Than Down Bomber Jacket. For fit, that one's getting a 3.6 out of 4. For comfort, a 2.8 out of 3. Again, extremely comfortable. And then for style, we have a 2.5 out of 3, giving the Better Than Down Bomber Jacket an 8.9 out of 10. Okay, and next we have the Stretch Thermal Button Down, which I'm wearing right now. This is getting a 3.5 out of 4 for fit. For comfort, it's getting a 2.5 out of 3. It is comfortable, but it's not like extremely soft. I guess I wish it was a little more soft, but I at the same time it would lose durability like if you guys felt this it's extremely durable like this thing will last forever I feel like but it's I guess it's just not as comfortable as I would have hoped for style it's getting a 2.5 out of 3 as well for a total of 8.5 out of 10 alright guys that wraps this video up thank you so much for watching I just want to say for everyone that has subscribed so far thank you so much I really appreciate you if you guys are thinking about getting either of these items, if you could use the links in the description to buy them, I would really appreciate that. Also, if you are not yet following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do that. I have so many giveaways planned and lined up. I'm literally getting so many clothes and I just can't keep them all. So you're gonna need to be following me anyway to be able to enter those giveaways. So you might as well do it now. But thank you guys again and I will see you on the next one.